good, everybody? Yeah, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Dima, SWV Music. So, guys, I've been getting email notifications like all last night because you brothers wanted me to know that P. Diddy has confirmed he's dating young Miami. Now, this is something that we knew because we've seen several photos of them together, attending balls together. Um, so it wasn't something that we did not know. But what was interesting was that P. Diddy's, um, you know, Asian chick, Gina Huynh, uh, they, you know, they were fighting on social media, her and Young Miami, over the 52-year-old millionaire. And people are saying, well, damn, you know, Young Miami is ghetto. She talks a lot of shit. She's a single mom. Well, how is she getting somebody like Diddy? Surely there is hope for single moms out there who are looking to deal with a high value man. And you know what? The, the world is interesting. You know, everything is about who you know and what your positioning is. Now, I mean, like in the manosphere communities, you know, we try to be honest with our brothers and sisters and let them know, hey, if you're a single mom, it probably is going to hurt you a little bit when you're dating somebody that has money but if you're a celebrity eh, it might not be as bad right because you can meet different people that you couldn't meet on the outside world let's look at sierra if sierra is a regular chick and she's a single mom she's never going to meet russell wilson but because of who she is she can meet russell wilson it's just proximity it's just being in the same industry and they're just having a competitive advantage the normal chick can't do that, but it's very, very possible. But now let me get back to the point with Young Miami. Can she get a high value man like P. Diddy? Yes. And can other single moms that look attractive, can they get or obtain the attention of somebody like P. Diddy? Yeah. Even on OnlyFans or IG models or anything who look good. Here's the problem. He's most likely not going to marry you. How do we know it? Well, let's look at this here. Okay. He says this. Date music. We go to dates. We're friends. We go to exotic locations. We have great times. We go to strip clubs, church. I'm going to take you to church. We date. We're dating. Okay. She's one of the realest people I ever met. What does that mean? We date. We have sex. It's casual. We hang out. I enjoy your company, but I'm not going to marry you and see this is what's going on right now in the american society guys who are able to get rich like p diddy not even to his level but say if you're able to get rich like him <laughs> what is the use of getting married i mean just look at johnny depp johnny depp lost so much money with his first wife or, or the first lady he was dealing with like for 14 years he lost like 125 million dollars with that then amber heard like seven million dollars right it's not really worth it. And so guys who have a lot of money, it's not worth it. And the thing about it is this, they're not going to commit to these chicks. And I'm not saying that he's not going to commit to her because it's young Miami. P Diddy's not going to commit to any woman. It doesn't really matter. But here's the situation. Women will deal with these guys knowing that they're not going to get a commitment from them. But then at the same time for the average guy, expect the average guy to marry them. When somebody like P. Diddy is smashing them on the side. What, what does this mean? What does this mean, guys? It, 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 it says this. Instead of spending your energy in investing emotionally in dealing with women, invest that energy and time into yourself. Okay? Why? Because when you do that, people go with it at your rules. She knows goddamn well P. Diddy will never marry her, will never wife a woman like her. It's not going to happen. And she's fighting over him on the internet because she would love just to be in his life. She wants to be in his world. And she's completely okay with never being wifey for him. I'm not saying that she wants to be married, but some women do. But you see, if P. Diddy was a simp and he was giving his money to women like Johnny Depp, he wouldn't be able to do that. But P. Diddy is pr pretty much red pill. We date. She's one of my chicks. Okay. It's casual. When I get ready to smash her, I can. All right. But it says something also about talented men, especially black men. They got options. Most women who are coming with a young Miami re uh, resume, 
to a guy like a P Diddy, even if you can, even if you if 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 you can access him, what are you giving him to marry you? You already have somebody else's kid. He's not gonna deal with that. He's already so committed doing other things. Why does he need to take care of you? And this is what you're dealing with with a lot of ladies. They don't understand the market. They don't understand like when you're dealing with a guy who really has opportunities, maybe you're seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, maybe even in the rotation. A lot of ladies are coming in the same position in young Miami talking about they want to be number one. You want a guy that's rich, famous, in shape, looks good, and he's going to be faithful to you and take care of your three kids because it's you. Like, again, this is how you know that women don't really deal with, with a, lot, a lot of successful guys. Because if they really understood it, they would know that you're going to be fighting over him just like in Miami. That guy has entirely too many opportunities. And for men, many to understand this is that give yourself those opportunities. P. Diddy loves himself more than anybody else. Which is, I wish I wish men were like that. A lot of men put people before them. P. Diddy doesn't do that. He puts himself first. You want to know who else do that? does that too pretty well? Most women. Women put themselves first. All right? Like whenever it's bad for them, they're out. And typically you guys know, they take the stuff you bought for them. And when you break up to the next relationship, to the next guy and vice versa. Okay? Women put themselves first. Want to know women respect? Men who put them second, third, fourth. Right? Because like, wow, he puts himself first. Like I do, he actually cares about himself. Well, what's going on with him? Yeah, because you can set your own tonality in relationships. Many guys are not doing it. Many guys are running around allowing a woman who shouldn't even be in your life to actually play a role. Young Miami would destroy P. Diddy's life if he allows her to do things. If she was wifey, if she could call shots in the business, she would destroy everything. I mean, just look at Southside, okay? Like, she came from a guy like Southside. Nothing wrong with Southside, but... There you go. And if Southside wouldn't marry her, why would P. Diddy marry her? Like, let's just be real. Some of these dudes you, you guys are, are dealing with, you're paying an overprice. You're, 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 getting, you're, you're paying too much for what you're dealing with. The last guy that was dealing with her wasn't paying anything. Why should you? Even if you can pay it, why, why would you do it? So he didn't take you out to eat. He wasn't doing great things to you. And I'm going to take you to Dubai? I don't think so. No. You're going to be casual just like you was over there with him unless you add more value to my life. Otherwise, you're not going to get shit either. Nothing wrong with that. Love yourself, guys. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out. Yeah.